James How do you do the things you do I still can't believe that it's true I get hungry when I think of you Like champagne and caviar You're such a treat Like cherries to believe Hi, I'm James Barber. Today we're going to talk about chocolate. Now, everybody knows about hot chocolate. It's one of the great comforts of the world. And other people go for chocolate in different shapes and forms. They make pianos out of it. They make logs with little presents inside them. They make fancy chocolate. They make great big lumps of chocolate. Okay, now let's see what else people do in the world with chocolate. I'm going to make a few dishes that you maybe never heard of, which will blow you away. They're really great. I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to make a chocolate mole. Mexican, lovely dish, spicy, wonderful, and I'm going to just crank up some boiling water in a pan. This is the easiest dish on earth to cook. There's the boiling water. There's some chicken put the chicken bits in the boiling water. This is a great way to cook chicken. You put it in the boiling water, bring it up to the boil, put in a bit of salt to just, it's in the water, it's not in the chicken, okay? And um, let it poach. As soon as it comes to the boil, we'll turn it off and then it'll cook. It'll take about 15 minutes for a breast and about 20 minutes for legs and about an hour for a whole chicken. All right. Now, let's think about making this mole sauce. We get a pan, all right, and we get some peppers. Just cut the seeds off the peppers like this. Cut the peppers up into, these are poblanas, we just cut them up a little bit like this. All right, and get another one, because we want to make a lot of this. This will keep, and it's a wonderful thing to do. Right. Now, just chop those up. Chop up the peppers. Okay. We want some pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin seeds are very big in Mexico. And we, since we're going to put them in, well, we put them all together so you can see what a nice little pile we've got. Thing. We want some sesame seeds. We want some stock. Now, I'm going to put some stock in here because I'm going to put it in first because I want everything that we've got in there to whiz up gently inside it. All right. I want a bit of uh, garlic. We make this little pile. So we've got poblanos, pumpkin seeds, and garlic. All right. I've got here some sesame seeds, and I'm going to put those directly into the into the stock because we're going to put the whole lot now. I'm going to put a couple of two more cloves of garlic in there because I like garlic. Okay. I'm going to get some great chocolate, and I'm going to cut it up bits. You can grate it, but what I'm going to do with it is melt it. Very, don't want to chop up that lid. Imagine you could do this with a grater, but one of the problems with chocolate is it melts in your hand while you grate it. So we're just going to melt this bit of chocolate in there, put it over low heat. I'll tell you what we can even do. Now this will shock you, but that's okay. Put it in the hot water and just let it start to melt in the hot water in there. That's just fine, because it's only cooking chicken, right? It's going to boil. Now, all of this stuff, the poblanos and the pumpkin seeds and the sesame seeds all go in there. Now, if you want to put a little sesame oil in there, that's fine, too. And if you want to put some real black peppers in there, get a fair bit, because this is a spicy sauce, all right? A really spicy sauce. So we'll put those in there. We'll put some cinnamon, about a teaspoonful of cinnamon, and we're going to put in some star anise. Now, if you haven't got star anise, 
then you put fennel seeds in there. But I like to put a little bit of star anise in there. Right. Now, we've got that all ready to go. We get the whizzer and put it into the into the pot there and that's it. Nice and smooth. See, it's really going green. You can do this in the blender. You don't have to, but I want to show you how to do it. Now, look, we've got our chocolate, which is starting to melt. We can now put the half melted, half. You want to see? Is that what you want to do? Well, I'll show you what I'm doing. I'm just scraping out the melted chocolate. Okay, there, just scrape it out of there into this pot. And once again, put the whizzer in there. Like that. Bank it all up smooth. Now, what you do is get your saucepan that we had originally. Just pour the whole lot back into the saucepan. This nice dark brown paste. Put some more water with it. Boiling water. And just cook it for 20 minutes to make it all go smooth together. It'll go with that, that'll go with that. All you do is go and sit and read the newspaper for 20 minutes. I'll be back in two. The Urban Peasant will be right back. chocolate we're dealing with okay we made hot chocolate well I drank the hot chocolate we've got chicken in here which is poaching and don't forget we just put it into boiling water brought it up to the boil and turned it off so it's just gonna quiet and it might as well do that over there that's over here and we've got our mole sauce in here spicy chocolatey some people put coffee in it but I don't um, it, uh, it tastes nice you, you have to put the chocolate in of course now I'm gonna make something I'm gonna make a chocolate cake in a hurry. The essence of making things in a hurry, I say it over and over again, is to make it in small quantities. So instead of making a great big chocolate cake, we couldn't find anybody to jump out of it actually, otherwise you would have made a big chocolate cake. Um, we're going to make a, not a little ones, make it in muffin tins. And I'm going to put the double boiler on here, get some butter, about a cup of butter, about a cup of butter. These are, I mean, muffins are fattening. Let's face it, muffins are fattening. And about eight ounces of chocolate. Now, just get the chocolate. And if you only want to put four ounces in, put four ounces in. It's your, it's your stomach, it's your waistline. But it happens that there are some things in the world that are there to be enjoyed. And chocolate is one of them. You might as well do it nicely while you're doing it, and then don't do it tomorrow. You know, go in a fast. So that can boil. The, the water's boiling, and that'll, that'll melt itself. So while that's happening, we'll crack some eggs. I want to do a couple of egg yolks. That's the best way. Well, there's two ways to do eggs. So I'll show you. One is to do an egg yolk like that. The other one is like this. You crack it, and then you pour the whole thing into your hand. All right, just let the white, there, see? Easy, isn't it? Now we want four eggs in there as well. So we just put four eggs, whole eggs, in there like that. And, whoops, dump them in, that's that. Okay, now we will mix this lot together with a cup of sugar, about a cup of sugar. If you like, use night, get good chocolate, get good chocolate, always get good Belgian chocolate. And uh, we get calico and get it and mix it well together, like that, because the eggs give it this richness. 
chocolate. Get good chocolate. Because if you've got to get milk chocolate or you get chocolate chips, they're full of sugar. And this has got more chocolate, like good chocolate fat in it, which is what you need. Okay, now put in some flour. About there. Just mix that in with the I'm making a batter. That's it. And we're going to put in half a cup of cocoa. Again, get good cocoa. If you can get good cocoa, find the more you pay for it, usually the better it is. Don't get pre-sweetened, don't get instant. Get things that you have to work with and chew. That's what you got teeth for, was to chew things. Get nice things like that. Okay. Now, mix that all up together. And I think what I need in here is a little bit more flour, because this is pretty pretty sloppy at the moment. Okay, that's just chocolate powder in there at the moment, so see if I can find a bit more flour. This into a there, like that. Now the eggs are going to make a lot of difference to this. The eggs are going to make it rise. This is a chocolate cake and it's not your ordinary muffin. This is something you could put in a big pan and take longer to cook with, but we're not going to do that. We're going to make it in muffin tins. I'm going to put a bit more flour in there yet to bring it up to the... there. Bring it up to consistency. That's starting to look like a real batter. Okay. Now here we've got this is taking a little bit of time. Let's poke around in here, see why this isn't melting yet. If we cut it up, it would have done. It's going to take a couple of minutes to melt. All right, so while it is melting, I'll do the next step, which is to get some orange zest. We've been through this before. Orange zest, we're going to do chocolate and oranges go very well together. If you want a really great dessert, you just get fresh sliced, really juicy oranges and great plain chocolate over it. Or you go down to your local store and you buy the best chocolates you can find and you serve them to people with quartered oranges. There's something really dramatic about chocolate and orange. Now that can go in there to give it that bit of extra flavor. And this can also go, this is the chocolate sauce for the chicken. Right, the mole sauce. Bit of orange juice in there, because that's getting a little tight. Just stir that around together. See how smooth and subtle those things are starting to look like in there. Now, I'm not going to put that spicy spoon in here, but I'm going to take this melted chocolate and butter. Oh boy, there's a little bit of chocolate unmelted in here. Put that in there with the rest of the muffin mix. There, turn that off. Give it a. I need another spoon now, don't I? Here's a smaller one. Let's put a, no, I have got one. Mix it. Oh, look at this. Look at that. Starting to be wonderful. Get some muffin tins. Mix it all finely. The last mix isn't really important. You just want to have it. That's it. Now. You put a little bit of that in each muffin tin, like that. And you try not to make a mess, because you don't want to waste it. You want to eat as much of this as you can. So we put a little bit in there, and we're going to bung these in the oven at 350 degrees. And I'm going to do that during the break, so don't go away. Come back and we'll eat them. Don't go away. James will be right back. Just chopping up a tomato to finish this mole sauce. Now look, we know we put all those spices and chocolate in it. Well now, the very last minute we're going to put in this tomato, like that, because we don't want it to cook through a lot. And we're going to get some green onions and we're going to just chop the whiskers off the end of those 
and we're going to put those in it and on it. We'll the green parts on it and the white parts in it. Just let it simmer together there for just a minute while I get on and make something else. Now we're doing chocolate. We're doing the unusual things with chocolate. We made a mole sauce to go with chicken. We got a great cake going in the oven. Now see what we're going to do here. We're going to make some tapenade. All right. Now tapenade is traditionally made with olives and comes from the south of France. And this is an adaptation of it, a Mexican adaptation that I first had in Oaxaca. Now Oaxaca is the chocolate capital of Mexico. It's right in the middle. No beaches. None of that. You know, none of that fancy stuff. They get on and they cook. They they make all kinds of great dishes, including this chocolate mole that we're going to eat in a minute. Just put that toast in there like that. Does this say toast? It says toast. That says oven for, that's where it says toast, like that. Okay? So we just put that on. All right. Now, you need a food processor or a Mexican. That's a Mexican food processor. But it takes a little, you need a Mexican right arm to do it. I haven't got one. So what we're going to do here is dump in a food processor a whole bunch, about a cup of black olives. All right. We're going to put in a couple of cloves of garlic, like that. All right. And we're going to put, whoops, put in some capers. Capers come in a jar and you drain off the, you drain off the vinegar and brine that they're packed in, just dump them in there like that. Now we've got to put some chocolate, chocolate with olives, believe you me. We also have to put anchovies, anchovies and chocolate, just try it. Okay, excuse me, just hang on a minute, I'm going to put a couple anchovies in there like that. Just, just, they always fall at the wrong, hello, thank you. People do watch, we've got the toast burning, so we'll fish out the baguettes, like that, there, pay a little bit of attention to that, we'll put the toast there to cool, and get nice and crisp, okay, now, anchovies, olives, capers, garlic, and some oil, about five, about five tablespoonfuls of oil, that's enough. Where's the lid for this thing? What did I do with the lid for this thing? Here it is. Put it over here. Okay. Right. Whiz it. Until it started to get mealy. Okay. Chopped up. You don't want it too chopped up. And then comes the big moment. The chocolate. Now, we didn't put the chocolate in first because it would have gone mushy. We just want little flecks of it in there. So we'll chop this up a little bit and then let the blade do the rest of it. All right. Chocolate. Okay. There it goes. Just chopping. That's good. Now, this is how you do this. You get yourself a plate. And you put your little bits of toasted baguette on it, like that. And you get yourself some of this chocolate tapenade. And you spread it on the top. And I'm, I'm going to eat this just to show you how good it is at the end. I know you don't have to believe me, but you better believe me, because if you've got any kids watching this, they're going to say, they're either going to say, please do that, or they're going to say, yuck. Yuck. If you do it like that, and then you put a little bit of grated or a little bit of goat cheese on the top of it, just a little bit like that. And if you want to, you can put it under the broiler, but you don't have to. You just put it under the, just put it on top like that and sprinkle it with a little tiny bit of cayenne pepper. Just a little tiny bit there, like that. That's a great thing. And you can put a bit of parsley if you want to make it look pretty. You put some parsley in it like that. All right. There's our sauce. The mole sauce. 
here's our chicken. We get the great boat dish for the chicken. Fish out the fish out the jam, put the sauce on it. I'll be back in a minute. Okay. James will be back in two minutes. Stay tuned. Chocolate show. All right, now I'm going to cut up. I'm just going to cut up my chicken so that everybody can stretch it around. And there. Just a poached chicken. See how white it is. Put it all on the dish. Whoops. Put that all on the dish like that. And then we get this great mole sauce. We made all that spicy, spicy sauce. And you pour it over the top. You can keep some of that for next week. Right. Just toss it so it's all together like that. Toss everything so it gets anointed. That's a lovely religious word anointment and with and then put some green onions on the top of it just great no there we are great mole put that bit in there muffins the chocolate cake all right no let's have a look at this whoops see chocolate cake has to go sort of nice and brown on the top here's a nice plate let's put a couple of these out here Whoops, there, there. Hey, JP, you want to see if these are up to your standard or not? Come and taste. Whoops, that's hot. Oh, boy. But see, here, I'm going to do these great muffins. Now, look, cut that in the middle, and it's just a little bit gooey in the middle. There, try that. It's hot. Just go, go at it, okay? Then we made the chocolate tapenade as a savory stuff in it and dessert. Chocolate is different, right? Keep chocolate cool, but don't keep it in the fridge because if you do, it'll sweat and it goes, all kinds of strange things happen to it. It just doesn't like being in the fridge. It likes being cool. Most of all, it likes being, I think, in your stomach. Chocolate's as good a thing as any to have fun with. You play in the kitchen. You don't read those fancy books and get worried all the time. You get on and do it and do different things. That's what we did. You like that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Go <laughs> Goodbye.